Pronto. Vai. So, you've been here for uh, like five stars, now here, checking the helmet and other stuff. So, what, how is the mood again to prepare your stuff for, for a race, even, even this is again for you? Even, uh, uh, it's nice, um, you know, for me, like I said, I, I've spent so many years in Europe and now to, to go away for a few years was uh, was quite strange, you know, I spent most of my life living in Europe. Uh, to come back here for a holiday and catch up with everyone has been fantastic and, uh, you know, we've been visiting uh, all my factories and, and everybody that I work with and preparing everything for Suzuka, so it's, um, you know, it's a different feeling again, but uh, at the same time, it's not like... Um, when we used to race in MotoGP, you know, that was that was a completely different setup system, different pressures, different feeling. Um, so with the Suzuka 8 hour, everything's a little bit more relaxing and we need to make sure things are a little different, you know, you need to be very comfortable for probably an hour on the bike at a time. Um, you know, and we're doing a lot of hours in one day, so it's all about comfort, the, the drink system, um, all these sort of different things, which uh, in MotoGP I didn't worry about too much because we were only on the bike a short time. So you are not making this race as a game, is anyway, it's a serious thing you're going to do, or... No, for me it's, it's still fun, it's still just for fun, but, um, you know, because it is going to be so hard and so hot, uh, it's a long time out there, then we need to be sure that it's not, um, it's not horrible to race, you know, if it's, if it's too hot and too hard, then it can be a very, very, very long day. But if uh, things are going smoothly and, and you've got everything prepared well, then it can be uh, a lot more enjoyable. What about the, the everyday life when you're out of this business? Are you an everyday biker, an everyday rider? How do you move in your, in your commuting? Are you still loving the bike or just everything is forgotten? For me, uh, fair weather. You know, when, it, when the weather's good and, uh, and, and when I choose to go, then yeah, I, I go on the street bike all the time. Uh, a lot of motocross, a lot of enduro, um, you know, I've got a couple of friends that I like to do some trips with, so we go away for two, three days at a time on the enduro bikes, come back, um, you know, there's, there's lots and lots of enjoyment, so, uh, you know, always on a bike. So, as a blocker, I, many times I'm out of the line, from the common line, as you, uh, as, so you are as a rider, uh, did this situation, this behaviour create you more problem or more advantages, being so out of the line and saying, everything and doing everything you you felt in your career and your life uh you mean now in the last years A any anywhere anyway you know uh, because you're always being so always concrete and out of the line for every any decision you have to make mm -hmm. so did you create many problems Much. more problems or advantages to you being straightforward yeah i think uh unfortunately inside europe it created more problems because uh people don't seem to like the truth out here Sometimes I'm uh, maybe a little bit too blunt for them. Uh, like I said, there's, there's many riders that can mask what they're really thinking or feeling and all these sort of things. And I would rather just say what I'm thinking. So, uh, you know, this, this gave me a lot of uh, negative press because everybody thought I was always being negative. But in reality, I'm just being honest. And uh, this was, you know, I think, very hard for everybody to take. So um, it's something I've always prided myself on that, uh, you know, I didn't let the... the the game of MotoGP get in the way, um, and then I could always be, you know, truthful with everyone. I can understand you. I'm finished. <laughs> so goodbye to Mr. Emmett readers if you want. And thank no, you very much. Not a problem. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.